morning everyone it is another beautiful morning in november monday morning oh welcome to the beginning of a week oh i had a great weekend very restful we even put up christmas decorations which were a little uh disappointing because my electricity on the front of the house somehow disappeared i don't know where it went <laughs> you would think it's the breaker but it's not the breaker i checked the breaker so if I have any electricians watching my feed and have an idea of what it could be, please, by all means, let me know because I have no idea. The, the porch light doesn't work. Even the fan in the living room that's right outside the front door doesn't work. Um, the outlet right there at the door doesn't work. So, so we put up all the lights and then it doesn't work. <laughs> it's November 16th, guys. So it is by Doge, Badoge. It is an Indian holiday festival and they actually celebrate brothers and sisters. So the sisters care and pray for their brother's well-being and the brothers protect their sisters. That's beautiful. We don't have a holiday like that. I can't think of a holiday that actually other than brother day and sister day which are just like kind of generic like grandparents day but an actual holiday that gets a festival that celebrates the bond between brothers and sisters we need something like that or maybe we'll just adopt the indian holiday because that is beautiful absolutely beautiful and it actually the thing that is the best part about it is they the tradition is that the brother comes to the sister's house and they have this whole ceremony and it it's a day for you to go see your sibling. Beautiful. I absolutely love it. It sounds amazing. It's also Tolerance Day, International Tolerance Day, which comes actually at a great time now that, you know, the election's over and we're all trying to um, get over our either soreness of losing or frustrations for someone else voting a different way than we thought or you know it caused a lot of turbulence between people friction um and then just like the whole movements that were happening over the summer um, um differences between cultures and um ethnic groups and it's tolerance day we should appreciate everyone's differences because if everyone was the same how boring would that be and then nobody would be special that would be so depressing don't you think isn't it amazing that everyone is so diverse and just like the indian holiday that's today how amazing is it that they have a holiday that celebrates a brother and a sister i mean but you may not know what the festival is but if you look deeper than just what it looks like and see how beautiful it is, then you can come to appreciate something that's completely different than what your culture typically is. See, I grew up in a neighborhood here in Central Florida where on one side of me, we had a Korean family. On the other side, we had a Indian family. Um, next to them were people from Spain, like actually from Spain. And the people next to them were from Haiti. So <laughs> we were as diverse as you could possibly get. All the entire row of houses spoke. I mean, we all spoke English too. That's like kind of our common grounds that for here. Um, but they all had thick accents. They were all from these other countries. They All of our base languages were different. We all celebrated for the most part different holidays and if we did ho celebrate the same holiday it was celebrated differently so I mean and I grew up appreciating that because I slowly got to know all of their traditions and I thought it was amazing because every single house was special they were all unique they were all special and I mean I think it's something that can be feared if you are used to a certain way and then one person comes into town and is completely different i get that you're a little leery you don't know if they have the same morals you don't know if they're safe but don't just automatically assume that because it's not in human nature to be bad it's kind of a unique thing that's taught through bad experience and it's not a cultural thing usually. Usually the overall cultures are good. 
just like that holiday brother and sister I love that I absolutely love that I'm I'm going to try to pin it on my calendar and make sure I celebrate it next year because I miss my brother and I'm gonna be thinking about him today and I didn't know about this holiday before today so November 16th guys celebrate your brother and sister okay you got to celebrate them you got to go visit them and um oh man that's amazing it's also national button day guys I guess the button's been around for like 4,000 years, but today's the day to celebrate that we have it and we're able to use it to button our pants or our shirts or, <laughs> I don't know. It probably preceded all the other fastening. I mean, no, because we had ties. I'm sure we were able to tie things before then, but then the button came and you didn't have to tie it in a knot. You could just button it. I mean, that must've been pretty awesome when that was invented. <laughs> Oh, uh, it's going to be a beautiful day, guys. I hope you have a wonderful Monday. Um, it's also fast food day, so um, if you want to be lazy and get fast food for dinner, today's the day that you have a good excuse to do that. But <laughs> enjoy. Have a great week. Um, I'll see you next time. Bye.